Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of Polyhedra Paradise. We could call it up late, we could call it up later, we could call it up intermediate, depending on what coast you're on, but whatever you call it, just don't call me late for dinner. I am Jason, your host this evening. Welcome, everybody. I'd like to say hi to everybody in the chat. And by everybody, I mean my esteemed colleagues. Gray, hey, hey, what is up this evening? Captain Pennsylvania, have a good time at work. Don't get into too much trouble. While you're watching the stream, Wells, my main damey. Couldn't do this without you, my love. It is good to see you all. Cap says them shades, though. Ha! And our special guest, Gideon. Gideon, why don't you say hi to the folks out there? Hi. Ha <laughs> ha! Gideon's with us this evening. <laughs> Tonight is a special unboxing. I got my Hero Forge Mini in today, and we are going to take a look at it live on stream. I hope everybody is ready for the awesomeness. How is everything sounding out there? Do a sound okay? Do a look okay? Ha! <laughs> so... Without further ado, we're going to take a look. <laughs> oh, Gideon out there in them streets. In them streets with them jammies. It's flannel. Come here, buddy. Let me show you the flannel. These are soft pajamas. That's my buddy. That's my mini. This is the last night they get to stay up late because they got to start getting ready for uh, for school. Pretty but better half says mini Jason. This is true. He is mini me. Celia, would you like to say hi? I got my daughter Cecilia. She is next to me too. You can you want to pop your head over here and say hi to everybody? There's only like 451 people watching. It's not a big deal. No, you don't want to do it? What if I told you there's there's five people watching? Would that be okay? There's only there's five, but that's fine. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's let's do this. So I don't know how many of you are familiar with uh Cap says, no school for me, but I am work at work. Yes. So D&D &D, uh, uses miniatures a lot of times at the table for people who don't know. I mean, I would imagine you know this if you're watching this channel, you're familiar with D&D. &D, but this is an example of a miniature. So the base is meant to fit in what is considered a five foot square at the table. Yes, my fingernails are painted. Thank you all for noticing. So... Hero Forge is a company that makes custom made miniatures. Now, Wells and I started a campaign where we are actually playing together. We're brothers. Uh, his name is Luther Von or Van, Von Hohenheim, and I'm Alexander Von Hohenheim. Alexander, named after my son, his middle name. You having fun back there, bud? <laughs> what? What's. <laughs> And look, he disappears, it's like magic. Like, ah, it's like it's a green screen or something. So anyway, so so we ordered uh, characters, or I ordered a character to, to commemorate the me finally playing. You can hang out back there, bud, it's fine. You can come in frame, we're not doing anything bad. It's fine. Van, Luther, Van Hohenheim, yes. So, oh, you need the charger, it's down there. Okay, so anyway, we're going to take a look at the Hero Forge website so people just have a general idea of what we're talking about here. So, let me go over here. Oh, that's the hot tub. We don't have time to get in the hot tub. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's a dragon. Rawr. Hey, oh, good to see you, Bashti. Thank you for stopping by. We're on, um, we are unboxing my mini today. So let's take a look at the Hero Forge website. For people who aren't familiar with Hero Forge, it's a place you can go to order custom made minis. This is my account. Uh, don't let my wife look at how much this particular mini costs. So let's just skip right past that. We'll go to order history. Let's take a look at my order history so we can get an idea of what this thing is supposed to look like. So. <laughs> So here we go. Uh, here's my order number. I bought it on August the second. It is currently shipped. There's my address. Uh, if anybody wants it, send me some care packages, 
and there's an advertisement and we're gonna skip that sorry you guys didn't see that there i'm not playing youtube through my thing it's fine um my address and here we go we're gonna open the copy and see what this little guy is supposed to look like all right changes made to this copy will not impact your order obviously because i have him right next to me okay so this right here is the model of Mr. Alexander Van Hohenheim. As you can see, he's a strapping lad, Thor-like, wielding a warhammer and a shield. Wings, courtesy of being an ASMR, not to be confused with ASMR. Hi, welcome to the ASMR Dungeons and Dragons channel. Offering Dungeons and Dragons at a smooth, calming pace. D&D ASMR. No, completely different. An ASMR is a being that is descended from a, the angelic realm, as opposed to a tiefling, which is descended from the demonic realm. So, so ASMRs have the ability to sprout wings, at least mine does. So, I incorporated that into my character model. So, um, he's got a warhammer, and he's got a flagon down here, because um, I like... I like my beverages and I like my flagons, so I thought that would be nice to represent it. And you look at this base here, there's some wood plank flooring. There's an overhead shot. You can see his hair is braided and goes swooping down in between his wings, nestled ever so gently. There's a cigar in his mouth because they didn't have cigarettes available. <laughs> Cap says, I'm oddly turned on. You know what, buddy? So am I. Should I do it again? Hi, welcome to D&D ASMR. I'm your host, Jason, the Dungeon Master, bringing you the chillest vibes around. Sit back, relax, and just enjoy yourself. Anyway, so this is the model that I ordered. All right, everybody get a good look and good enough look at that, right? Yeah, haha, <laughs> weird, yeah. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> well says no, stop it. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop it, I'm done. All right, let's go back to here. Okay, so I'm pretty excited. So here's the box that came in the mail today. This arrived at my doorstep from Hero Forge. Obviously we've been talking about them. We've got on the side here a picture of an elfin lady with a ponytail wielding a compound bow, which I didn't really think existed, but Actually, it's, it could be a recurve, something elven. Yeah, so shipping label, box is a little bit dinged and dented, but you know, it's not that bad. So. Whew. Now for the moment of truth. Um, who's excited? Raise your hand in chat if you're excited. <laughs> you think you're excited? You should see these nipples. <laughs> oh, Oh, side note, if anybody asks, no, my knee's not feeling better but White Claws are helping. All right, so let's cut into this bad boy. I've never done an unboxing. This is my first unboxing, so you'll have to like bear with me here. This isn't the first time I've ever cut into anything. I've cut into plenty of things. Pumpkins, wood. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, this isn't going like I thought it was going to. So, okay, so we got one cut, two cut. I mean, how do you like String this along to make it last longer, like it's Christmas, you know? All right. Yee, White Claw, Jason, yes. Boss G, yeah, it's a White Claw night. Cause I finished that puppy off last night because of my knee. Okay, so, here we go. We got some bubble wrap here. Who wants to pop the bubble wrap? Um, Who wants the bubble wrap? Gideon says he wants the bubble wrap. All right, so we're gonna, I'm not gonna look at this. I'm not gonna look because I wanna get the bubble wrap out first. All right. Gideon's on the bubble wrap, wrap. All right, so we got our packing slip here, obviously. Return address, shipment, shapeways. I'm not sure what that is. All right, now for the moment of truth. Oh, it's got some weight to it. All right. Gideon's popping bubbles off screen. 
All right, so it's in its own little bag. And here we are. Oh, it almost looks bronze. Take a look at this guy. You are in frame, buddy. That's okay. It looks almost exactly like. <laughs> That's what you. It looks almost exactly like the model. Fantastic. It is weighty. Um, I'm going to pull this off my head. It's weighty, solid, and I can't see with my sunglasses on, so we're going to take these off. All right. That's what she said. All right. So it's steel construction. We've got the... Um, the details on the wood on the ground on the you can see it there where it should be the wings the war hammer like we expected I'm trying to keep it in focus uh, well uh, <laughs> Bossy says you're killing me Jason I'm sorry I'm not sure why but you're welcome um, yeah I got steel yep definitely steel at the nice price of $39.95. You want me to help you, bud? No. no? Okay, you got your Gideon's own pop patrol. So yeah, so there you go. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, there's an extreme amount of detail on this thing. I know you guys may not be able to see it uh, on the action. Jeez, take it easy, killer. I know it's hard. <laughs> yeah so and look you can actually look at the detail on the uh, the cloak there how it just waves out in the breeze I know I know I'm having a hard time I'm sorry Greg it's like it's not it's not picking it up sorry I'm trying to get it in focus but you can see the feathers on the wings or at least I can. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to paint it. So my initial thought that I was going to paint it after I got it, because, you know, like like this one over here, like Victor. I don't know if anybody saw this stream Saturday when Paul was on and we were talking about Victor. Um, but Victor's painted. This is Victor, by the way. I don't know. Does anybody recognize that name? <laughs> so, <clears throat> but to be honest with you, the steel has a certain golden finish to it that I didn't expect the steel to have. Um, so I'm actually considering not painting it. What do you guys think of chat? Like, should I paint it? Should I not paint it? Should I leave it as is? Yep, Cap says the king. You're correct, one and the same. If anybody wants a reference of who Victor is or was, go back and watch Saturday's stream with Paul. We covered that a little bit. So, so that's the unboxing, guys. What do you guys think? Um, do you like the miniature? You think you think it's worth forty dollars? <laughs> if you were to buy one, would you would you buy the bronze? Would you buy the would you buy the plastic? Britt says, don't paint it. Yeah, probably. I don't think so. I mean, uh, Gray says it's cool enough to leave as is, but painting is awesome as well. That's true. Painting is awesome, but I gotta be honest. Like, I don't know if I have the patience anymore. Don't know. And you could just, I could do it on stream. You could just spend like hours just watching me sit here and dry brush. I mean, how exhilarating would that be? Yeah, I mean, talk about D and D ASMR. And now we're applying a. Thin dry brush coat onto his face. You notice the little black marks here symbolize the dust that his nose has gotten from the years of climbing up chimneys, delivering little presents to boys. Oh, that's a that's a different bearded man. I'm getting old. I'm not Henry Cavill. Yeah, no. No. 
No, yeah, that's right, because Henry Cavill like watching the computer, right? Okay, so, all right, so yeah, so that's the unboxing. Yeah, <laughs> happy beards. We're gonna put a little happy beard over here. Yeah. Cap says I'm like 28, like 28 my ass. Pounds maybe. Just narrow self. But. I got it. Uh, thank you for showing up for that while I got you guys here. You guys have any questions? Anything you might want to do while we're hanging out? I'm only going about 18 minutes. It's about really all I wanted to show you guys. But any questions about anything upcoming? The uh, Let's see. Henny Cavill was streaming painting minifigures. Was he? Was he painting minifigures? That's crazy. I know he was building a computer. Uh, to be honest, like, I watch Henry Cavill paint minifigures. Man cuts an imposing figure. Ink wash, let the dry brush, happy strokes. Yeah. I miss Bob Ross. Bossy says, loving the background here. Like, the, the background picture. I have a new addition to the background picture. <clears throat> like my uh, my friend Paul showed up in the background picture. Let me let me let me move the chat so you can see him. There he is, right back there. You see him hiding back behind my chair. <laughs> I send you all the proof in Jason Discord. So. Yep. So I'm trying to do a, a few different things uh, visually on the channel. And one of them is like starting to build out this background. So I'm going to start adding things from real life into my my bedroom online. The first one was the, the chair and the hammer. Since I'm not using the chair anymore while I'm streaming, I, I added that in. Then added uh, Paul in permanently in the background. He's always watching over me. <laughs> I was thinking I'm going to get a cut out of him and have him like answer random questions for me so yeah so I'm gonna do that but yeah so Paul's always in my heart now he's always staring at my ass <laughs> alright ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much it for the unboxing <laughs> Wells is a real one Wells is real like yeah. That's my man's. He's uh, he picked me up when I fell down. He's he's helped me out a great deal. I owe him a lot. So I'll send you proof on this. So let's see. Cat asks, "Are we playing the night?" No, we're not playing the night. But we could play a little Monkey Island if you want to play Monkey Island. Anybody wants to want to watch some Monkey Island or do some Jackbox while we're here? Let me know in chat. You guys want to play a little bit of games or or you want to just call it for the night? I uh <clears throat> So I recorded the video today for Tasha's um cauldron. Well says you don't know me a thing. I know. I'm but I do, but it's fine, you know. So, I recorded the video today for Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, which is the new book. Um Bullshit we playing. Which, what's Jackbox? Come on, Cap. You gotta know what Jackbox is. All right. Let me see if I can do this on the fly. We'll pull up some Jackbox. Let's see. Let's. Oh, oh I'm sorry, bud. Uh, oh, uh, protect, yeah. protect your neck. Bow. <laughs> Getting sneaking up behind me. He came at me from all sides. I didn't know what was going on. I nearly pooped myself. <laughs> Grace says I look forward to gaming tomorrow. Yeah, me too. All right, well, let's uh, let me pull up Jackbox. We're gonna do Jackbox Party Pack number five. All right. So let's see. We're gonna go to. There we go. So you're gonna go to Jackbox. TV or jackbox.tv and what we do is I'm gonna set the game up and you guys are gonna log in with jackbox.tv 
and there's going to be a room code that you guys are going to go into. You'll put the room code in, and then we, yeah, uh, you don't know Jack? Yeah, pretty much, as you don't know Jack. Yep. Bashi is more than welcome to come in and check out a D&D session. Um, so, let's start this. Is that Adam's bald head in the helmet? <laughs> Cap says, let me get my laptop. Okay. Can everybody hear that okay? Now, I think there's about a 15 second delay between the stream and the phone. So I think you guys, once we get the room code in, it's probably best if you guys like pay attention to the actual phone. So let's see, what do we want to do? You don't know Jack. Uh, you don't know Jack. Full stream brings the classic irreverent trivia phenomenon to the widely popular and totally fictional streaming service, Binge Pipe. Their terms of service explicitly state you love it. So this is more like a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see. So this is more of a um, the classic you don't know Jack, which is like questions and answers. So there's that, and there's split the room. It's the what if game where anything is possible. Create strange and divisive hypothetical situations. So there's that, and there's Mad vs. City. This is fun, where y'all log in and you create uh, basically rhymes. Um, and you battle each other. And there's Zeppel Dome. Uh, so I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this looks more action. Patently stupid. Uh, Alright, so what do you think? Why don't we start with You Don't Know Jack? We'll, we'll go You Don't Know Jack to start off with. Okay. So let's see that. So we're going to get the room code in a second. Binge Pipe offers everything you need. So let me Including check the settings. Turn down the host voice effects. Music slider. Full screen mode is on. Audience can enjoy. Uh, audience can join and affect the game. So let's see. Play. So connecting Binge now. Is a streaming service with okay. So to so you're gonna go to Jackbox.tv. Did we mention you don't and then you're going to put the room code. I even have to go on my phone and do it. So you're going to go to jackbox.tv. Let me put it in here. Say you want to play some Jackbox. Munchkin. Binge Pipe knows what you want to watch even when you can't articulate it. What do I Hold like on. to watch? Um, dumb. Smack. All right. Jackbox.tv. J A C K B O X dot T V. Oh, you got in there first. That means you're hosting. Well, we've been drugged. Binge pipe. Here's a look. All right, enter. So you go to Jackbox TV. It's gonna look like this. Okay, and then you're gonna put the room code in. Room code is W I M W. No, that's Sorry not it. <laughs> w, I, M, W. All right, I'm in too. In the last hours. I can all right, so once everybody's in, uh, Wells, since you're the first one in, Go you're going to have to push everybody's in to start, okay? So you're Go technically running Mayor. the stream. Mr. Mayor, that octopus has a family. All right, who else is in? Is that, a, is that everybody? Uh, good night, Gray. Take it easy. Thank you for coming and and uh, watching all this mess. So, if you have more, we'll see you tomorrow. Your slots, or you're just uncomfortable with the term. Right, Wells, I I slots. think that's it, bud. If you, you want to hit, uh, everybody's in to start. Go ahead and hit it, and we'll start. Next round, let me jump in Hello. first. I'm Austin Creed. Don't miss my new show, Hat Chat, right, right here on Binge Pipe. I travel all around the world, meeting mm -hmm. people with incredible stories and talking about hats. Here's a clip. There we go. 
I can't. Binge pipe is pleased. That's all right. We're good now. You don't know Jack. Binge pipe. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> watch. <laughs> Welcome to You Don't Know Jack. I'm usually Cookie Masterson, but Binge Pipe wanted to focus test some new names. <laughs> yeah. So today I'm Portense McFart Body. Portense McFart Body, that's horrible. Before we begin, did everyone figure out which cast member of Riverdale they are? Good. Can everybody hear everything okay? Okay, let's hit it. Good luck, have fun, ladies and gentlemen. To get things started, the mythological Becky. Mythological you know Becky. Becky. Right? With the good hair, the bad guy from Beyonce's Lemonade album. Well, mm. if Beyonce wrote a song about Becky with the Gorgon hair, what type of hair would Becky have? What is a Gorgon? Hair made of blue flames, hair made of solid stone, hair um, made of solid gold, or hair made of snakes. It's a Gorgon. Gorgon. Uh, okay, I've got my answer in. Uh, I feel like I should know what a Gorgon is. Love this part. I don't think anybody got the Gorgon sisters, three mythological creatures, including Medusa, had hair made of venomous snakes. Oh, hey, Kevin Bosti, good job, guy, <clears throat> guys and gal. Serpent ladies, all the serpent ladies, yes, all the serpent ladies. Yeah, you picked the wrong one, Cap, but you got it right. You talk about failing upwards. <laughs> Number two, oh, here's a good one. What's he got, buddy? Cannibalism. Are we splitting this? In constant fear, there's a fourth little pig that we oh, never talk about. Oh, no, thank you, Bob. Brick, he built his house out of cottage bacon, which cottage is... Cottage bacon? His brother's leg, his father's shoulder, his mother's face, or his own butt. Um, that's disgusting. Um, all right. I know what I'm picking. Cottage bacon. Let's see what cottage bacon is. You got it. Uh, His wow, mother's face. Bossy, did you? Oh no, Bossy was wrong. Cottage she got Cottage bacon face. comes from a pig's shoulder. Woohoo! I was already suspicious. I'm of even. The story where pigs knew how to work with wood and bricks, but this was the last straw. But B meant A. Oh. Don't put the sad face up there, Wells. Coming up next. A delicious bowl of fruit troops and a heaping helping of it's a dis or dat. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Dis or dat. Off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's a character from Joseph Heller's novel Catch Twenty Two or. A Has anybody read Catch Twenty Two? Oh, let me make this a little think smaller fast. so that everybody can see it. Only a few seconds to pick between from Catch Twenty Two. All right. Or I know my breakfast cereals. Cereal. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Ghostface at negative 2,000. Everybody else Apple at a bee. cool zero. Applebee. And we all got that one wrong. Hello. Sir Grape Fellow. Grape Nuts. Cereal. Buckwheats. <sighs> Ote. That's an Ote answer right there. Mmm. Okay. Got that one, I think. Mmm. Good job, Cap. Captain Aardvark. That's a new cereal I ever heard of. Baron Von Redberry. Baron Von Redberry. I don't know who that is, but I'm using it in my next. Oh, it's... I'm using that in my next uh, adventure. Hungry Joe. No. Darn it. Well, let's see how we did. Teamwork to be this bad. But player one, uh, tough one. You failed to live up to my already very low expectations. <laughs> Actions have been taken to ensure you have a All right, better so at experience. this point, Sounds people like can use a screw That's right, Cookie. You on other screw players. Makes it harder for Neat, you can use a screw on other player. A variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Oh, uh, great, thanks. Now that's what I call consumer engagement. All right. So let's see what we got here. Question number four. Yeah, you bombed, but you got let's you got the screw now. So dessert that dare not speak its name. It's true that we can't have our cake and eat it too, but 
I've heard that joke about you can't have your cake and eat it too. Then have it uh, later. You have your reasons, okay? I'm I'm no one to judge. In okay. progression, how will your cake change its name before you can <clears throat> have it back? What? Cake bolus kind poo, cake trochy bile poo, cake amylase lipid poo, uh. or cake glomblum cecum poo. I have um sky is different stages of digestion probably. So let's see how this goes. I'm not too familiar with digestion. Okay, that's wrong, but I'm so glad you picked this one. Glomblum is a word I made up, and I want people to start <laughs> using it. it. It can mean anything. I don't care. Glomblum. Make it viral. I'm going to make glomblum happen. After food is chewed, it's known as bolus. Then in the stomach, it becomes chyme before legally changing its name to poo. Ah. Good job, Cab. You got something it's right. all yours. You can have it. Ah. Up next. All right, let's see what we got now. First, I'd like to oh. spank the Academy. I'm sorry, Wells. Which movie won an Oscar for Best Picture in 2006? A film with the same name as a group of crows. Boss, you did you did pretty good for rhinos, for being out for a while. Same name as a group of bees, or a film with the same name um, as a group of sheep. A murder of crows. Oh, okay, I knew this one. Oh, I just said it. Ha! <laughs> Not bad. Okay, what'd you pick? Don't cry, it'll grow back. Oh! Not to ruin the suspense, but you all missed it. A group of rhinos is called a crash, and the Paul Haggis film Crash won Best Picture in 2006. That is so random. Brokeback Mountain should have won. It's taken 12 years of therapy for me to get to a point where I can say that plainly and without anger, but Brokeback Mountain should have won. I can't, okay, that's that can't it. quit it's you. Done. That's it for round I could have sworn it was a numbers, murder of crows. Numbers. Show me numbers. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Currently, player two is in the lead. I'm not okay with Cap excelling at this. Player one, on the other hand, you're highly valued, but your score is not. The data we have acquired <laughs> demonstrates a need for an additional screw. Round two screws. Oh, oh congratulations! You have two screws. More cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy uh, about using. Yeah, that he's got. Um, well, he's got two screws now. You'll end up screwed. Oh, and did I so you can use the screw to make it harder for people to answer. Fun. I'm not exactly sure how you activate it. It should. There should be an option on your phone. And now. Heavy is the head that wears the toy crown. Uh, Who was a real boss baby? King Tutankhamun, Joan of Arc, Alexander oh, the Great, okay. or Mary Queen of Scots. That one. So if anybody's just coming into the stream and they want to watch or participate, just go to Jackbox TV. The room code is W I M W. You can watch for the rest of this round and jump in Great afterwards. Pick. Tut tut. Correct answer, reveal yourself. Mary became Queen of Scotland when she was only six days old. Six days? That's Good lord, that's a young kid. Ten day olds to make them feel old. Was that a alien that just popped up on the screen? Question set. Next up, marketing to attractive wildlife. Mm. And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a Ticklish Tescum. Man, this thing is really cool. Ready because the longer you take, Sorry, I'm the looking at my still make. looking at my miniature. Okay, focus up. Look I know, right, Cap? Phrase and tell me what popular phrase it rhymes with. Um, hot deer do break trends. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. Hot deer do break trends. So this one we actually have to type in what it is. TV shows. Um something something to make friends. Um not fear. Usually from a villain. Um Oh, I'm quite afraid this starship will be operational when your friends arrive. I don't know, I'm at a loss. Um This is not a place dumb. I arrived at to form new fondness. Oh my goodness. Tum Tum Where No Break Friends. 
I can't stand the suspense. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Moving right along. Did they are they not gonna tell you? But Cap got sixty bucks for it. Here we have type Love not fear to make friends? Maybe. I don't know. They didn't tell us. So binge pipe needs help sorting through data mining. Data. Uh, why are you collecting all this information again? It's just a hobby. Here are the searches we have. How did get get sixty Bueller. points though? Bueller. 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 Oh. Whose search history have we acquired? Ben Stiller. Oh, I got no this one. Fine. Ben Savage or Benjamin Bratt. Oh, Cap got it. I'm not here to make friends. Okay. Um, okay, I okay, got it. Oh! Bashi just got screwed. So, what'd you pick? Ben Stein played the teacher continuously yeah, calling buddy. the titular character's name for roll call in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Titular. Do you want yeah. to know how many times Russell just screwed Boshti. No, the only person who <laughs> can't handle my personal information is me. That screw is a good move, player one. Spend this wisely. So now you have officially screwed Boshti, so I think there's something else that has to happen. Question nine. Here's one for you. Going out on a big laugh. <laughs> Which of these punchlines applies to the latest Shakespeare comedy? Shakespeare. That's no male servant. That's my sister. That's no donkey. donkey. That's my boyfriend. That's no statue. statue. That's my wife. Or that's no. Okay, that is a wizard, but it's also my father. Oh, what? Shakespeare comedy. Uh, All right. Well, I'm just gonna have to pick. Let's see how that shook out. Well, what I do? Or like a winter's fail. Bashi, Bashi well, yelled at me. It's my name in all caps. Smart people. Apparently, I said something inappropriate. The maybe. The featuring the wizard Prospero and his daughter <laughs> Miranda was one of the last plays written by the Bard. <laughs> I'm hoping my last joke will be equal. And as we go into question yeah. ten, neat. Is it eleven thousand six hundred in the negative? Number 10, that is correct, buddy. My chicken Tetrazzini watches me sleep. So I, keep I caught the chicken Tetrazzini one time, website, but it's a caribou with, with penicillin. About spaghetti, I assume. Anyway, which of these creepy pastas is shaped like a corkscrew? Oh, it's... No. Any of you, you Italians out there get this wrong? Or get off the boat, you know what I mean? Which one is it? Oh, I know this. Okay, let's take a look. There you go. Fusilli is the corkscrew shaped pasta, which is very, very <laughs> creepy. <laughs> oh, like everybody got it. Okay, so I guess it didn't matter. Yeah, I guess we're all like Sicilian or Italian. Well. Round three. Cap, I thought you were Irish. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, All right. tap it on your device. Uh, Iron Man, Elbow, the Superman, and Thor. An answer, the more cash you make, and more than one answer can be right. Who are Captain Pennsylvania's fathers? Some cash away, and including Elmo. It's got to be a match <laughs> that fits this clue. You got schooled. Pick the students that attended these educational institutions. Who is anybody that's ever met Captain? Why do I? Why am I apologizing to Boshti? What I do? I apologize, Boshti. I'm sorry. Uh. Um, I don't know some of these people. Riverdale. No, Wesley Crusher was... No. Veronica. No. Uh, Jughead. Uh, okay. No? Ah. Oh. Ivy Lee School. 
Uh, oh. Ah. Greendale Community College. Winger, is that like winger like the... No? Uh, I don't know some of these people. I wonder if you just like hit all of them and if like it would like even out. Starfleet Academy. Well, that's easy. Uh, Chiway. Jean Luc. I don't know some of the other ones. I'm not even guessing. Gray would have nailed this one. Absolutely nailed this one. Shermer. Sherman, Illinois. It's a little scary. Is anybody else scared with all the screaming going on? Oh, finals. All right, let's see how we did. Player two's got it. Cab, you won. Excellent job, player two. Congratulations, Captain Pennsylvania is our winner for this evening with a grand total of 4,260 points. 4,460 points. Wells with almost the complete inverse of 4,700 in the negative. So, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you hanging out with them this evening. I'm going to call it for now. It's almost 11 o'clock, and I got a little bit of editing to do. So all progress will be lost. Let's go back. We are exiting out. And I'm going to shut this down. Let's see. Let's go back to here. I finished with a screw left, so fuck cap. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Everybody in the chat, did you guys did you guys have a good time tonight? I appreciate you hanging out with me, taking a look at the mini. Boss, you apparently have to apologize. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what I said, but I'll see you Friday. You can yell at me on stream live if you want. That's fine. Uh, what are we drinking on Friday, Bosh? Tea. Like, we still have to decide that. But okay, so we got a little bit of Jackbox in. I appreciate you all for hanging out. Thank you for indulging me. Once again, let's take a look at this little mini. This beautiful little man right here. To paint or not to paint, that's still the question. I think we're not going to paint. Cap, Wells, Basti, Gray, Brittany, Gideon. Say bye, buddy. We're going we're gonna to head off this evening. Bye. I'm excited for Friday, too. We'll have to talk and find out exactly what we're going to watch. I think we need to do something off the wall. Anyway, thanks everybody for coming in tonight. And I, as I always like to say, in the game of life, may you always roll with advantage. And I'll catch you guys in the next.